Welcome back. We now hear from Carolina Astrain, who went to Cuero recently to check out their new dog park. Thank you, Karina. Yes, I'm here in Cuero at the city of Cuero's new dog park, and I'm joined by Rebecca Dawson. She's a member of Keep Cuero Beautiful. Rebecca, talk to us about this project, where it all began, and how long did it take to actually have it come to fruition? The dog park was really a an idea in the mind of the previous president of Keep Cuero Beautiful, and she brought this idea to the mayor who brought it to the city council, who brought it to other in officials with the city well before COVID struck. So this has been a several year process to get this dog park built and the plans in place and all the organizational details that went into it. The space back behind us where, where you might see some of the agility toys used to be Cuero's community garden. And when COVID again struck, people kind of just stayed home and the community garden kind of had a slow demise because nobody was really out tending to it, you know, while everybody was home and afraid. So they decided to turn this land into something that our community could enjoy more readily and more people and a great place for everybody's pets. So it's been a several year process. I'm, I'm new to the Keep for a Beautiful Committee, so I, I don't know the exact timeline. I just know that it, it started before COVID struck. And it's also giving way for more trees. Talk to us about the trees that have been donated to beautify this park. Yes, well, Mr. Robert Oliver was kind enough to donate the oak tree in the far corner closest to the highway. And he is a lover of trees, and it's been my great pleasure to work with him on the organization of getting the tree here, getting the potting soil, getting the hole dug, you know, all the, all the logistics. But we're also working on him uh, graciously donating another 40 trees wow. along Broadway, which is the Cuero Victoria Highway, just so that as people come in from the Victoria area, they'll see all these beautiful trees. And it just enhances our community as being a lover of trees and in concerned about the environment. And our tree board is, is helping out with some of that as well. We're working in conjunction with them too, and that's part of our city's management program too. So we're excited to, to beautify our city on a regular basis. We're very proud of our city and its efforts to do that. And this is all thanks to the Quero, City of Cuero taxpayers, but it can be enjoyed by residents of all over the crossroads. Absolutely, yes. The dog park was funded by city taxpayer dollars. The tree beautification program is, is from donations from Mr. Oliver. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And I know there's a dog costume contest coming up, not here, but at the farmer's market. Right. Uh, my, my own dog participated in that a couple of years ago and it was a lot of fun. I made a really cute costume, but she wouldn't keep the hat on her head. So we didn't win that competition. But anyway, it's a lovely event, very family friendly. It'll be the last, I believe the last Saturday in October. And it's a fun Halloween activity for families. So if you have a dog, dress them up and bring them. You never know what you might win. Yeah. Well, we're going to put that on our calendars. And thank you so much, Rebecca, for sharing your knowledge and your time to making Cuero not only beautiful, but fun. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys being here today. Thank you very much. All right, back to you, Karina, in the studio. Thanks, Carolina. Here's some information on the Cuero Dog Park. You can find the Cuero Dog Park on Lenore Road, Row, Harmon Drive, and there are areas for small, medium, and large dogs. Alrighty, and then coming up, we learn about a new basketball night being hosted by local law enforcement.